Hi, beautiful. Today, we're exploring the wonderful, horrifying, scariest world ever, the world of Sunin. I've never used these before. Don't have any experience with leave-in products that lighten your hair. I'm just so curious if they work and if there is some applications for them that I would recommend for you. Mainly when I think of Sunin, I think of these images, brassy, yellow, orange, dull, awful, damaged hair. Does this stuff actually work? Will it give you sun-kissed, beautiful, blonde locks will lighten your dark hair. And lastly, I mean, should you use this on your hair and skip the salon visit is the real question. Can this be a substitute for getting your hair done professionally? Cause that would save you a lot of money and a lot of hassle. That sounds so easy. Like I would do that. I'll be using four different products today and I'll tell you all about the ingredients of these products. We will apply them to the hair of my special guest today. We will let her sit in the sun for an hour or whatever the directions call for. Then after that, I will inspire Expect what happened to the hair. Hopefully something happens. Hopefully the hair is lighter and I'll give you guys my honest real opinion about these products. If they're good, I will tell you that they're good. If they're bad, oh, you best believe honey that I will tell you that these are terrible products. <laughs> Let's find out if sun in products are something I would recommend for you. Let's do it. So I have Miss Maniquin here and she has this beautiful, luxurious brown hair and hopefully it gets, you know, a little bit lighter. Maybe some highlights going through. It is 95 degrees in New York today and it is very, very sunny. So it's the perfect day to try out these products. I'll be using four different products on each quadrant of her head, leaving out the front just for comparison once we're done so you guys can see what actually happened to the hair, if anything. Fingers crossed that something actually happens. I'll be so sad if nothing happens. We'll be leaving her out in the sun for a few hours. I'm gonna reapply like hopefully twice or three times. I will let you know. But first, let's go over the products I'll be using, what their main ingredients are, and how to apply them. So let me introduce to you the first product we'll be using, which is the classic, the one, the only, Sun In. This says, enriched with aloe, chamomile, marigold, flaxseed, and alcohol free. Okay, I'm into that. So Sun In's main product, which is the same in pretty much all of these, I think actually all of them do have this as a main ingredient, hydrogen peroxide. That is what lightens the hair with the heat from the sun. Hydrogen peroxide is pretty much like number one, number two after water. And as we know, hydrogen peroxide goes in the hair cortex and removes the pigment from the hair, leaving the hair looking lighter. So this is hydrogen peroxide. Like I said before, it also has aloe, which is nice. I like that. I'm into that. There's lemon in here, chamomile. There's a few other things mixed in with the hydrogen peroxide, giving you a little calming, beautiful spa experience. So we'll see if we get that combined with some lightening on her hair once we put her hair in the sunlight. So to lighten the hair all over, it actually says spray damp hair generously. Comb through evenly and blow dry. And then it says repeat above steps until you get the brightness you want. So that's interesting. They actually don't even say to leave her in the sun. What? Okay, well, she's going in the sun today because I feel like most people would use this in the sun. It just says to blow dry in. So we'll apply it on damp hair and we'll blow dry in and then we'll leave her in the sun with the other sides processing as well. Let me dampen her strands. I'll be putting some gloves on because I don't want hydrogen peroxide all over my hands. No, thank you. Ma'am, let's dampen this up. So now that we have this section damp, we'll take the sun in. I'm gonna shake it just a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm gonna do that because it feels natural. But this beautiful yellow bottle with this gorgeous sprayer is gonna help her go lighter and I can't wait. Let's just do a beautiful even coating on her hair. Oh, I really like the sprayer though. Okay, sun, give it to me, babe. I hope it doesn't lighten my jeans because baby, these are expensive, honey. Let's not lighten them. Okay. I do have to say it smells very good, which is weird because it's hydrogen peroxide mostly. It kind of smells like hair color mixed with like natural oils. That sage extract definitely is there and present and I'm really into it. I'm gonna put a lot on, <laughs> don't mind me. Okay, I think that's good. I think I coated her hair. Now let's blow dry it in.
Okay, now that's blow dried in. Uh, it looks no different, but I don't think it's supposed to. I think it needs to process. I don't really know how this is gonna work, but we'll trust the process. Okay, next section and next product. We're gonna use Sunbum Blonde Hair Lightener, premium hair lightening enriched with Costa Rican pineapple and Meyer lemon. This is vegan. We love that. Gluten-free, paraben-free, formaldehyde-free, phosphate-free. I live. And of course, second ingredient, hydrogen peroxide. This also has pineapple fruit extract, which I don't know much about pineapple but I don't know how that relates to hair lightening. Maybe it's just a fun additive to put in here to make it feel more summery. And then lemon, of course, helps with lightening because it is acidic and some fragrance. It's actually a really short ingredient list and I really enjoy this packaging. So good for you, Sunbum. I'm really open to this actually working. So hopefully something happens today. This says, our blonde hair lightener is specifically formulated to brighten and highlight your hair by amplifying the natural effects of the sun. Infused with pineapple and lemon, our special UV activated blend creates natural subtle tones and beautiful highlights we're stoked to share one of our best secrets with you they literally said we're stoked i love that how to use spray generously on clean conditioned and towel dried hair for sun streak highlights expose hair to direct sunlight do not apply more than once between shampoos lightening results are permanent do not apply more than once so we will not be applying this one more than once today okay that's interesting i wonder why it doesn't say what kind of hair to apply it on so i'm expecting that it can lighten naturally dark hair i don't think any of these actually specify what tone you should start with It's interesting that this one says to expose your hair to sunlight and the sun in says to just blow dry it in. I don't think they finished the directions on the sun in one. I think you are supposed to go in the sunlight. I just don't think they added it in there for some reason. I think they forgot, um, which is a little concerning, but let's spray this on. Ooh, this mister is even better, baby. Ooh, we love a good mist. Oh, wow. It was like that tropical sunscreen like oil, the stuff that makes you really dark. I used to put it on as a kid and just like lay out for hours. Oh my God, RIP to my skin. But it smells just like that if you know what I'm talking about. It's like very tropical scented. I'm into it. Let's put it on every single layer of her hair. Make sure we get it all on there. This has a really good sprayer. It is so even. It comes out so fast. I really dig it. Let's get that in there again with my hands. Make sure it's all throughout and I'm not gonna blow dry it because it doesn't say to Up next, we have the John Frieda Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. This one was impossible to find. <laughs> my assistant went to so many stores and apparently only one store had it. And oh my God, this bottle is so tiny and little. It's so cute. This says gradually lightens for natural looking blonde. Prior to use, please read directions and warning statements. Create lighter blonde or blend away dark roots up to two shades lighter with sheer blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. Not intended for use on naturally brunette or heavily bleached hair. It says not to use on brown hair, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm sure something will happen. I'm still confident, but we're not gonna, you know, take them out of the race yet. So for ingredients, this says also hydrogen peroxide, the second ingredient. This one also has natural ingredients like chamomile extract and lemon juice, fruit extract. This one seems like a little bit less natural than the other ones. Like Sunbum had a very short ingredient list that only included very few things and not too many unnatural products. This one has polysorbate 20, disodium phosphate, phosphoric acid, and then fragrance and so on. Sunbomb had none of that stuff, which is interesting. It only had hydrogen peroxide and those are very high up in the list on this product, which isn't a bad thing. Like chemicals are not always bad. They actually can really help your hair. So that doesn't bother me. I'm just pointing out a little bit of a difference I saw, but the directions say after conditioning, apply the spray throughout towel dried hair and then style as desired. For optimal lightning, use a flat iron or curling iron after blow drying. Huh. For the heat, okay? Only use once between hair washes. Use only on clean, wet hair. Use no more than 10 times between coloring. That's interesting. Okay, so we are going to spray this in, blow dry it, and then flat iron it. Cute, cute sprayer. I think the Sunbum one was my favorite sprayer though, honestly. Okay, let's get all in the hair and now let's blow dry. I almost forgot to talk about scent. This one had not much scent at all. It is kind of nice that it doesn't have a scent. If you are the type of person that doesn't like scent, maybe this is for you. We'll grab my trusty Dyson flat iron and we will flat iron our hair at 410 degrees because why not pulverize it? My nostrils 
are like kind of burning. I think it's from um, breathing in all these fumes, but that's all right, nothing new to me. And we're just gonna slowly flat iron this hair. Beautiful. All flat ironed out, and honestly, it's looking like oddly lighter, but I think it's just in my head, <laughs> and I think I want something to happen. But that is what it looks like now. Okay, and lastly, we are doing a DIY formula. This formula calls for equal parts developer, 20 volume I'm using, just this Claire all stuff you can find literally at any Sally's. Then I'm using equal parts Hydromania conditioning mist, and lastly, equal parts lemon juice. So all equal parts of all these, no matter what you do, just do them all the same. We have my little concoction right here. And we'll just apply with a brush. I really wanna see what happens on the top of the head, so let's put a lot there. I feel like this one is going to be the one that works the most. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about how this is gonna come out on this side. I feel like it's gonna be really orange. I don't think I've ever actually applied straight up peroxide on somebody's hair without mixing it with color or bleach. I don't know, it just feels very unnatural to me right now, but all in the name of science. We're gonna figure out what this stuff actually does to the hair once and for all. I'm gonna comb it through to make sure it's on all of the hair strands and I will blow dry this in also. Okay, done. So the hair feels very heavy, greasy, and dry. Like it's disgusting. I kind of hate that, but all in the name of science, you know? So I know I said before that I'd be reapplying Sun In, but that's actually the only one that says to reapply, and I feel like that's not fair. I feel like we should see what happens when you apply it once and go from there, maybe. And then if I do another round of Sun In, then I'll do all of them again. I just don't feel like it makes sense for me to do one and not the others, you know? That's an unfair advantage, and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna bring her outside for an hour, baking in this very hot sun today, and hopefully something happens. Beware that I feel like nothing will happen, probably, so don't get your your hopes up. I'll be back in an hour. Don't miss me too much, baby. Okay, so let me bring you up to speed with what just happened. I brought Miss Minnie Quinn out in the sun for an hour. Then I ended up reapplying all of the products. I feel like a little bit more could happen. So I wanted to just push it and see what could be done with these products. But anyways, let me just show you the results. The results are interesting. In the close-ups, you can really actually tell that these front strands are a darker color than everything else on the head, especially on the side that we used the at-home formula, but you can tell that her kind of like bang pieces are a bit darker. I do ultimately feel like her hair is lighter and it didn't make it so light that it turned red, which is great. Overall, decently happy with the outcome, but let's dive deeper into this situation and let me explain everything that happened that I like and I don't like and what I suggest for you, okay? Let's move Ms. Mediquin off of that. Thanks for your help today. Now, of course, I use these sun in formulas on brunette hair. Um, some of them did recommend to use them on blonde hair. Just because your hair is blonde doesn't mean it's gonna get lighter faster necessarily. So doing it on brown hair, I feel like would have given me the biggest results. That way I can really see if it went from brown to lighter brown. It's kind of hard to tell on blonde hair if it increased in lightness or not sometimes. So doing on the brown hair, of course, might be a little bit different than the blonde, but they should be very similar in result. And of course, these these products are going to work a little bit. They all have hydrogen peroxide in them, which is a lightening ingredient. I mean, you're not gonna put hydrogen peroxide on hair and nothing's gonna happen. So yes, they do work. Is it a lot? No. These formulas with hydrogen peroxide in them are made to gradually and slowly lighten your hair. This is not bleach and you don't want it to be bleach. If you're using these products, you're wanting something that's gonna be subtle, but be a little bit effective and give you kind of a new feel to your hair without it being like, oh my God, do you go to the hairdresser? Like, did you get your hair done? So it's definitely a viable option for somebody who wants a gradual change of lightness in their hair that has patience for this, that doesn't have a big budget. This is totally for that consumer. However, a little bit of a downside on hydrogen peroxide is that, of course, it is damaging. You can't really lighten your hair without damage. That's the thing. You're, it's just not going to happen. You're always changing the composition of your hair fibers, so you're not going to make your hair healthier by using this. It is the slightest bit of hydrogen peroxide in these products. I don't think your hair is going to fry off or like melt off like it could with bleach, but you're going to get a little bit of damage, and the more you use it, the more damage you will get. And by no means is this going to give you salon quality 
the highlights. This is not going to give you the balayage look. It could possibly, but highly doubtful that it'll give you the perfect balayage highlights. If it does highlight your hair, this will be more sporadic and uneven. I also want to touch on the fact that you are supposed to do this more than one time, like I've been saying. And for this experiment today, I just did it twice in a short time period. This is something that will work better for you if you do it over a long period of time. I don't have the time for that today, so I didn't do that. I still did see a noticeable difference, which I'm happy about. But if you want a much more noticeable difference, you can keep using these products over and over again. The most expensive one we used today was the Sun Bum one, which was $15. The second most expensive was the John Frieda one, which was $10. And the least expensive one was the Sun In, which is $3.50. That's crazy. That's really cheap. And lastly, if you're wondering what my favorites were, my ultimate favorite product that I used in this video was the John Frieda one. I feel like it made the biggest amount of difference. I really like the nozzle it came with. I like the way it sprayed and I like the trigger. I like the feeling of the bottle. I like the scent. It wasn't really there. I like scents, but I don't really love tropical scents. So the other ones weren't my favorite. And my second favorite was the Sun in one. I mean, 350 for that. You can't beat it. So it's definitely a great product. It smells decently good good and it works decently well. And then we have Sun Bum, which was my third most favorite. The smell was very tropical and overpowering to me. I don't love overpowering scents. This sprayer was good. You know, the bottle is good. It's expensive compared to the others in the market. I don't think it was that effective. I just didn't love the whole experience all around. And the homemade one was nice. It was just really messy and I don't like messy. I like the spray way better. So that would be my fourth most favorite was my own concoction. It was just too much work. I'd rather buy a $3.50 thing than spend all that money, probably like $30 to buy all those things to make the solution with and then have to apply it and it'd be really messy. I'm not into that. So that's my full opinion. If you're gonna try this, go with the John Frieda one. I recommend it. It was pretty good. This is going to be something that you have to monitor closely. You cannot push your hair too far, right? Because if you push your brown hair too far, it'll turn bright red. So you don't want that. So just don't use it too often, or too much. And if you have blonde hair, you don't wanna push it past its breaking point with this product product or else your hair is going to be fried. Only use it once in a while if you really have to or you just want a very natural glow to your hair. This is not going to give you that highlighted look, okay? You're not gonna get like a salon highlight from the sun. So just don't push it too far if you're gonna use this product and don't come crying to me if you don't like the way it looks. It's not my product, so I can't I can't say anymore. And that is all for today, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Like what the f Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here is all my social media links. There is plenty to choose from. Have fun. Make sure you check out my hair care line, Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com or at xmondohair on Instagram. Make sure you guys text me. I will be choosing a few of you guys every day to text back and have a little conversation with. This will also give you updates on everything happening in my life. And here is that number, text away. And if you made it this far, well, congratulations because I have a special secret for you. I am bringing back my Instagram shout outs. I will give one girl at the end of every single video a recommendation on what I think that they should do to their hair. So I am bringing that back. And all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and then DM me with plans you have for your hair or things you want to do to your hair. And I'll let you know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, or I'll just recommend an overall look for you. So get on that and good luck. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you next time. Bye guys.